Hey guys, it's Seco45, and I'm here, and I'm back at last for the video for you guys. Sorry I've been really lazy, I've just been busy with school, and I've been extremely lazy. Sorry for no funny Fridays, I mean, you guys love those. And yeah, so we have a war video. So, um, I changed- this war was a tough clan, they had three Town Hall 10s with Inferno Towers, and they all had, like, free spells. So I saw a guy with Max Dragons, so I actually moved the stuff around, I moved the Wizard Towers there, and I moved the Air Defenses into the center, because I was expecting a guy to use all level 4 dragons on my base. So I stocked it on an air raid. But this guy actually comes in with... Uh, what was that? Go, go Wee Wee. With some giants. So this is a pretty noob town on 10 attack strategy. Well, like noob, like low level. I don't know what a, 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 a balloon. So that's a Go Wee Wipe because there's a P.E.K.K.A. I don't really see this guy did absolutely no clearing. And it's because I put the air defenses in the center that this guy actually was able to win. Because the Archer Queen was actually able to take out the Town Hall. And despite this being a pretty horrible, terrible raid, the Archer Queen was actually able to get the Town Hall. And, you know, even most of the time my base would defend this. Uh, you know, what are we going to do? And 31%. And, yeah, pretty good, but that was a pretty terrible attack. So this clan war, I actually had to attack two Town Hall 10s, and both of the attacks went pretty badly, but luckily I was able to pull off a 2-star and a 1-star, so let's go over the 2-star. Now this war, I was one of the, I did terrible clearing, so I've been trying out this strategy. I did a Go Wee Wee Vape. Wait, was there witches? Yes, I got witches to click out. Yeah, this is a Go Wee Wee Vape. Um, and... Um, I always wanted to attack through right here, but I knew the queen was going to lure the troops away, so I was kind of nervous, so I wanted, I just moved my attack, and also, I'm going to take out the clan castle while you do that, I did not see that there was no wall there, so one thing, I would have been felt a lot better if I knew that, but then I could have dropped a jump spell, and I wouldn't even needed wall breakers, so I dropped wizards, but I don't clear that good, so I'm going to break both compartments, so, Kablang, I, I, maybe I should not even have broken that compartment right there. Because that's where I assumed my troops are going to go, but I dropped them a little late. So, I dropped the P.E.K.K.A., the Valkyries, but the clan castle goes down, and the troops are missed at Town Hall. So, oh shit. And then you're probably wondering, how am I going to get the two-star? And you can see the little level 10 above her, the queen. The queen is going to be a hero of this raid. So you're going to see. So I drop a Rage spell on the troops, hoping that they could, I could fix them. Drop a Jump spell to try to get them maybe to head towards the middle. Uh, but only the king is actually going to be smart and go the right way. But the troops are actually going to go for 50%. So the actually the Inferno Tower locks on the Golems and the Barbarians and the king. So it actually gives my queen some time to uh, take out some other buildings. So we did hit the one star, so I still had some minions and wizards left. I was This attack was not going as planned. And I have two spells left. I have a heal spell and a rage spell. And we're going to see if I can put those to good use. So I see my queen. I put her on ability. I'm going to drop a heal spell on her to get her to full health, and I'm going to drop a rage spell. And this archer queen, with at full health, with the help of these wizards, is going to somehow get the town hall and we're going to get a two-star, and I'm just going to end because we're not going to get any farther. So, horribly executed, and a two-star. Now, the second attack went the same way, because I actually did, this is the order I attacked. The same, this attack went, the same thing happened. So, very, very sad. So, here we go, here's my um, attack. So, first, I'm going to lure out the clan castle. I bring a double jump. You're going to see how close this raid could have been a two-star, or, like, what I did wrong. So as you can see, this attack, I have two jump spells. This is my preferred, uh, this is, uh, I like two jump spells on Tunnel 10, so I don't have to bring wall breakers. So I drop a witch. Now, uh, let me pause this. If you saw, I dropped one witch, let her generate skeletons, and then dropped another witch. I actually learned this from high-leveled war clans. Um, if you drop a one, don't whop them at the same, well, whop them, drop them at the same time. They're going to generate, like, a bunch of skeletons and then none. But if you drop them kind of, like, apart, they're going to kind of have a constant flow, and that's kind of good. So that's why I dropped them the way I did. 
So yeah, there we go. Clan Castle lore. I, I always lure Clan Castle when I'm attacking Town Hall 10s because that's the only way I can lose the attack. And I actually usually don't even raid the Town Hall 10 if I, if I can't lure it out. Ooh. Okay, that was a really big freeze. Holy crap. So I dropped the first jump spell. And I'm going to drop Golems now. This is going to be one of the closest attacks that could have been a two-star. Um, I usually, if you know, if you guys see me use double jump, I like to drop them both at the beginning. But this jump, I drop a second too late. And one P.E.K.K.A. I have two P.E.K.K.A.s in this attack. If I dropped it a second earlier, I would have two-starred. So let's watch. I, again, don't do good clearing with my Wizards. I still have five left. I saved some to take out the uh, enemy king, because I knew he was going to be a problem. Um, so there we go, I drop a P.E.K.K.A. and a clan castle P.E.K.K.A., another witch. And I'm actually going to bring two witches in this strategy. So there we go, now watch, this one little P.E.K.K.A. is going to head into the uh, middle. So, the wizard tower is going to go out. If I drop the jump spell right now, the P.E.K.K.A. is going to head right for the clan castle, I kind of raged it. And I probably would have taken out the town hall. With, and the queen would have been there to help back it up and stuff. And the goal... Now, watch this. The P.E.K.K.A. jumps out. And I drop the second jump, but it's a second too late. And that second is going to come and cost me. We all know the queen. She was a hero last raid. But this guy has a slightly stronger defense. So, see, the queen is going down fast. So I put her on Royal Cloak. I don't know what she gets this idea from. She shoots at the Tesla, which wasn't shooting at her. The Archer Queen, the only hope for getting the Town Hall, goes down. And it's a bummer. And yeah. Whoops, I accidentally paused that. I meant to fast forward. So, very, uh, does suck that, uh, the uh, my I absolutely freaking hate one stars. I was so mad after this attack. I did this attack at like 6 in the morning. Um, I was going to a swim meet. And, uh, yeah, so this attack, I actually am probably going to save this strategy. This is actually a really good strategy. But I'm actually going to bring three more wizards and bring only two witches because I don't need the witches for any other reason. I don't need that extra witch. Didn't really do anything. And I can use the three wizards to help me uh, clear to ensure. So, yeah, I'm probably going to maybe I'll practice this strategy just to see if I can, uh, you know, if I can get better at it than, uh, you know, when I get better at this strategy. Um, you know, it's just going to help a lot when I master this strategy. Even though the sad thing is that I'm not going to be at Town Hall 9 much longer. Um, yeah, Town Hall 9. I'm, I'm almost done. I'm wrapping up. Uh, I'm getting my Teslas. Let's go look at the banks. Let me just show you my plans for the rest of Town Hall 9. Because I'm actually almost done. Hey, Haitian, hold on a second. So, yeah, here's my base right here. Holy shit, my cock's level 100. <laughs> level 100 cock. Now the girls are loving me. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Anyway, um... <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, I have three Teslas heading to level 6. I have one more to go, and then I have to get him to level 7. Wait. Hold on, give me a minute, Asian. Um... And um, I'm upgrading my barracks. This barracks is my last elixir upgrade. If you guys look at my lab, there is actually that's no elixir upgrades to go. See, they're all done. So they're all done. So the only thing is Valkyries, which I'm actually saving for right now is Valkyries, and then I'm gonna work on the king. Um, I'm gonna be getting my expos to level two and my Teslas to level seven, and I'm heading to Town Hall ten. Now. Here's why I'm heading to Tunnel 10, not going any far with maxing. My troops are very well leveled. My heroes are good. They're not great, you know, they're not going to, but they're fine. And I'm going to get something that I've been waiting for for a long time in the free spell. And I'm going to be getting Inferno Towers, which are going to really help my uh, farm base out and my war base. And when I get free spells and 240 troop space, you know, let's say we get it paired up with a clan with Town Hall 9s, I'm going to have a huge advantage attacking. And I can finally get some, you know, maxed out troops. And people are going to really fear me when I have level 5 P.E.K.K.A.s and level 5 Golems and stuff. Because if I can push to 3,000 trophies with Gobi Wipe at Town Hall 9, who knows what I could do at Town Hall 10. I'm very excited for Town Hall 10. That's going to be... I am very ambitious and excited for Town Hall 10. So I'm definitely trying to wrap up Town Hall 9, get the cool stuff at Town Hall 10. Um, I'm not going to do anything with the walls. I know their level 7 is a little iffy for Town Hall 10. Level 8 and above is good. 
And then level 9 up is ideal. But I'm not going to farm up Legos. I'm not even close. Yeah, that's what level 9 walls are called. I'm not going to waste my time. My base is not, practically going to not change. So I'm actually going to do level 8 walls pretty early into Town Hall 10. I'm going to be doing level 8 walls. Um, I'm going to get the Archer Towers to 11, maybe the Inferno Towers up, and maybe the Expo, stuff like that. So, yeah, guys, um, my level 8 walls will be one of the, some of the first things I do at Town Hall level 10. So, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you know understand what I'm doing. I'm preparing to, to upgrade my Mighty Town Hall to Town Hall 10, get the awesome stuff there. Um, have to find a good trophy count to farm because Town Hall 10 farming sucks, especially at low counts. It's very bad. Um, and I'm gonna have to f find a way maybe to farm way up there, like Crystal Wand or something like that. When my, when I have Infernos, I should be able to farm up there, but we'll see. So, yeah, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed, and, uh, I'll see you guys really soon, and, uh, yeah, so, I'm back. Hope you liked the video, and see you guys really soon. Peace.